My name's Shutik, and I recently discovered gas station male enhancement pills. Today I have this, the Build Your Own Clone Analog Vibrato. It's like the Boss VB2, but better. This DIY pedal packs a perfect sine wave LFO, a warm MN3207 VBD analog vibrato, and a really fun depth ramp feature. The BYOC analog vibrato packs a few features that set it apart from the pack. Unlike the VB2 Waza, the analog vibrato is true bypass. This pedal doesn't have the latch, bypass, and unlatch system that the VB2 uses. Instead, this has been simplified into a bypass and ramp system. The pedal is either bypassed or not bypassed, and it's either in ramp mode or not in ramp mode. Today we're going to cover the controls, listen to some sound samples, and then I'll cover some interesting parts of the build. At the end, I'll wrap it up with my thoughts on the pedal. First up is rate. Rate is the speed of the vibrato effect. Next we have depth. This controls the amount of pitch variation. There's a good amount of range here. For me, it starts sounding too intense at the halfway point. If you open her up all the way, you're in ring mod territory. Rise time adjusts the amount of time it takes for the vibrato to reach the maximum depth and rate set with the rate and depth knobs once the momentary foot switch is engaged. Last we have the ramp switch. Turning this on will allow you to engage the effect by holding down the momentary switch. When the switch is released, the effect will disengage. Now for the sounds. My guitar today is a Fernandez Strat with stonewall pickups in all three positions. My amp today is a Cheria 18 watt that I built myself. One of these days, I'm gonna make a video about that. Here's what it sounds like clean. First, let's try some finger picking with a nice Leslie-esque warble. Dang, that sounded really nice. Now let's try something with a little more depth and rate. Finally, I'm going to turn on ramp mode and we're going to punch in some slick warbles, bro. <laughs> Onto the build guide. The build guide for this is actually going to be pretty short. BYOC provides really clear instructions and the board is masterfully laid out. You get all the parts with the kit, so you'll save a ton of time that's normally spent sourcing parts. For this build, you'll be using Cool Audio Reproduction V3102 and V3207 Bucket Brigade Delayed Chips instead of the Panasonics found in the original. 
My understanding is that these are excellent reproductions. I've never had a chance to try the real deal, but these sound great to my ears. The BA6110 VCA is worth mentioning since this type of package is seldom seen in guitar pedals. Make sure the notch lines up with the square pad. The bias pot sets the V-ref for the op amps in the signal path. What you're trying to do is get an accurate, low noise, constant voltage. Do this by ear to get the best clean signal. The delay pot sets the amount of delay coming back from the clock driver. Play with this until you get to a spot that sounds as full as possible without sounding too noisy. There's also a battery clip in case you're poor and you can't afford a power supply. When I purchased my kit, they didn't have any finished enclosures available. Keith was kind enough to send along the decal file, which I printed onto a water slide decal. I did a real shit job on this one. I realized afterwards that I need to spray from further away and apply less paint with each coat. So what do I think of the BYOC analog vibrato? I think it's awesome. This thing sounds fantastic. It's warm, it's lush, it's wiggly like a worm. It's everything I want in a vibrato. I find that if you keep the depth and the rate really low, you have a nice subtle setting that can be an always on for when you're finger picking or playing slower chords. I'm actually surprised by how useful the ramp feature can be and it allows me to get some of the more extreme settings of the pedal in small doses, which makes that a lot more useful to me. I'd recommend this pedal to people who are looking for an all around solid vibrato and for people who are looking for a nice beginner to intermediate DIY pedal build. One of the conditions of my parole is that I make these videos. Please watch them.